Tropical Storm Alberto is nearing landfall in Mexico. Good Wednesday evening to you. I'm Mike Nasal with the Tropical Video Update here on YouTube. Taking a look out there, we do have a couple of features. This is our first tropical storm of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season, Tropical Storm Alberto, sitting right there where I circled very near Tampico, Mexico, actually about 135 miles away from Tampico, Mexico. And it has a very large envelope of moisture extending back into Texas and then all the way down into Central America. A very impressive looking tropical storm and strengthening. We are also watching this disturbed weather on the uh, backside of Alberto, which could eventually follow in Alberto's footsteps and do something in the same area in a couple of days. We'll talk about that. And we're watching this feature in association with some troughiness north of the Bahamas. And this could be something for the southeast coast. Let's get to Alberto since it's closest to land as of 10 p.m. Central Time. It was at 21.5 north, 95.9 west. Again, that's about 135 miles east-southeast of Tampico, Mexico, moving west at 9. And the pressure is about 993 millibars. Winds are up to 50 miles per hour. So it's a moderate tropical storm now. It's strengthening. It uh, could strengthen a little more, but obviously it looks like it doesn't have enough time to uh, tighten into a hurricane. But nevertheless, the uh, tropical storm force winds are going to be a problem as it continues to push in, and it should dissipate Thursday over mainland Mexico. There's another look on the infrared satellite. Again, not very well organized, but if Tampico is right where I just circled that white circle there, the center appears to be somewhere in this region down here. So it is not extremely well organized, but nevertheless strengthening slightly and a moderate tropical storm landfall for Mexico. Notice here some of the convection blowing up further north, and that is causing wet weather into Texas. I'll talk about that. Look at this wind field. Tropical storm force winds extend outward 460 miles, almost 500 miles away from the center of Alberto. So again, that's why we have a tropical storm warning in effect from St. Louis past Texas all the way down to the border and then all the way down past Tampico, Mexico because that entire stretch of coastline is going to feel potentially tropical storm force winds upwards of 50, 60 miles per hour with higher gusts and that will continue as the system pushes in. But because of that, we have a constant fetch of onshore flow and we could have water rises here. As a matter of fact, the waters could rise one to three feet from the mouth of the Rio Grande all the way up to Sargent, and two to four feet here between Sargent and Sabine Pass. We've seen some video of very high swells impacting uh, coastal communities. So again, with a constant fetch of moisture right off the Gulf of Mexico with tropical storm winds, we could see some storm surge. So again, watching that very, very carefully. The radar, the uh, center of the storm, is down in this region where I put that X, but there is moisture well to the north of it showing up there, and Brownsville, you're getting into some of it. Again, it's been constant here in South Texas, and uh, the fetch of wet weather is not going to stop, and that's why we do have the threat there of heavy rainfall, four, six, eight inches, maybe higher in areas there, Corpus, Laredo, Brownsville, this South Texas region, to say nothing of Mexico here, mainland Mexico with even higher amounts with the mountainous terrain. Look at this. Uh, I sped this up to show out of Corpus, just a constant fetch of moisture there near Corpus Christi. One wave, then another wave, then another wave, then a, these pulses of moisture, and that's why there is a threat of flooding, at least a moderate threat from that area, like I said, from Laredo and the border to Corpus down to Brownsville. So South Texas, you guys are in a flood threat right now with Tropical Storm Alberto. Now, our other features we're watching is this feature here, and that is a low pressure area 300 miles east of the northwestern Bahamas. And conditions are somewhat conducive with uh, development. And it's going to move west-northwest and approach northeast Florida or Georgia by Friday. So that has a 30% chance of development. The higher chance is 40%, but that not through the next two days, but through the next seven days, we should see an area of low pressure develop near the Yucatan, very similar to where we saw Alberto. 
and uh, that could be a feature there that follows in Alberto's footsteps. So the next name on the list is Burl, and then Chris. So could this be Burl and Chris? Yes. Uh, or maybe only one will develop, or maybe neither. We don't know. But the fact that we are only uh, June 19th, we got a long way to go in what is expected to be a very, very busy Atlantic hurricane season. Taking a look out there, look at this dynamic outflow here from Alberto, and that's only helping to blow up more storms here. And out of that area is where we could see another low pressure develop and spin. So that's going to be the region to watch. But note here, north of the uh, Bahamas, this feature has got a little bit of a look to it. It looks like it could kind of whip here towards uh, the west-northwest, and it, maybe it could do something. So again, the waters are very warm. It's got the Gulf Stream. It does have some drier air there to contend with, but it is something we're going to keep an eye on. Right now, all eyes are on Tropical Storm Alberto as it heads towards landfall. All preparations for heavy, heavy rainfall and flooding should be rushed to completion. Tropical Storm Alberto, the first storm of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season, headed for Mexico.